hello 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 youtube welcome back to another video from camera Terror 101 today we will be starting our first day of the seven day rice water challenge so i have my rice water in here i fermented it for about a week two weeks a week and some days um yeah it's been fermented for a while i didn't use white rice i used brown rice since that's all we have in our house um yeah, I use brown rice, but brown rice also is supposed to bring the same amount of nutrients as black rice and white rice. So it shouldn't really matter that much. <clears throat> so, that being said, my oh hair my God. is still in braids. Yeah, I know. I look real crunchy, and that's okay. I hydrated my hair, moisturized it last night, so I deep conditioned it for about an hour. Deep conditioned my hair for about an hour. I put in my favorite olive oil leave-in conditioner. I put in my Palmer's Coconut Oil Moisturizer just over the braids and then I used my oil that I showed you guys in my scalp and I also used some Argon Oil to seal in the moisture over the braids so we're pretty hydrated right now. So with that being said, we have to mark it. So I wore a white shirt so we can mark the growth. I know it's not going to be like extra or whatever but I know my hair is like, <laughs> oh my god what if it doesn't reach? It was like right here, it's like right at the top. Yeah. The top, the top, top. Yeah, it's very, my hair's not that long. Uh, we're gonna find the shortest piece so that way you guys can really see the. Okay, so we're gonna mark it. So I got my Sharpie. can see on uh I'm gonna put a one that looks gross but whatever so that's the mark of where this strand over here okay when I tell you guys this rice water smells so bad it does not smell that good but however it's okay because I fermented it about a week and a couple some some days so it should be okay it definitely should be okay most people do it for a, for a day i saw this other video she fermented hers for a month i cannot bear the smell it, it's seeping through the top it's just so gross um i hope i have enough my mom took some but since my hair is in braids it shouldn't take much i'm gonna just do some sprays and then i'm gonna put my bonnet on once this is all done, I'm washing this bonnet seven times because this rice water smells so bad. So with that being said, I'm going to spray this on my head for every day for seven, not for seven weeks, every day for seven days. So one week in total and we're going to see the growth because a lot of people have had at least half inch, at least an inch of hair grow. And that's not a good day. So we're going to see if your girl can get a little bit of growth out of this if not then that's okay but it's good to experiment right i'm so scared i'm actually very scared this stuff smells when i tell you how i had to pour it in here and i like it was stinking in my room like i had to go in the bathroom and then i drained the i drained it into here and then i had to pour the rice out and I was not, like, I can't pour the rice out on the sink because I poured it out on the toilet. And it just stunk so bad. And you'd think somebody was using the bathroom. Like, it was just so bad. This rice water, I'm telling you guys, you have to brace yourself. You don't, you start gagging at the smell of it. Okay, let's start. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it got on me. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Ew, this stuff stinks so bad. Make sure you guys get your roots. That's the main thing that's gonna grow. <gasps> guys, when I tell you, it smells like somebody just rubbed their whole butt all over my head. Like this stuff's. Oh, this stinks so bad. One hour later. There we go. You hear those sprays? Oh my god, this stuff stinks so bad. 
Now people with low hair porosity, you need to moisturize your hair when you put this rice water in considering the fact that it has proteins and proteins extract the moisture from your hair. Ew, ew, it was dripping on me. <gasps> ah, this stuff stinks. So bad. So bad. Okay. This should be good. This should be pretty good. We're gonna leave this. So now I'm gonna put my bonnet on. Actually, I should put a scrunchie in my hair. But I'm gonna put my bonnet on my hair and I'm gonna do the same at what time is it? It is 12:30. I'm gonna do the same thing every day at 12:30, and we're just gonna document the process. So I'm gonna wear the same shirt. I'm not, of course I'm not gonna do it when it's wet because when it's wet it has a little bit more length. That's not fair. Maybe not me. But whatever. So yeah, the rice water is in. So now we just have to make sure everything is okay. rice water carries a lot of protein so people with low hair porosity and that's porosity is the amount of moisture your hair can take in so it's like it's like basically like it's not your hair follicles aren't open on the hair so it's really hard to get moisturizer into your hair so I suggest if you guys are doing the rice water challenge you do moisturize your hair for any person that has high porosity you should most likely deep condition beforehand. Deep condition and moisturize your hair beforehand like I did because I have very high porosity. So I moisturized my hair last night. I deep conditioned it, moisturized it, and now I'm putting on the rice water and I'm not going to moisturize it. I'm going to let it go. I might moisturize it like once or twice because it's a week. Like You do need to moisturize your hair more than once in a week. Maybe two or three times. Depending on how your hair takes in moisture, for the low porosity people, like I said, you might have to moisturize your hair every day, and that's okay. Just make sure you guys are prepared when you do this, because I don't want your hair to be drying out, and then, instead of, instead of your hair growing with this treatment, your hair is breaking because it's so dry. So with that being said, make sure you guys are moisturizing your hair. So I'm going to come back to you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back to day two of the seven day rice water challenge. Um, so my hair probably has not grown much since then, honestly. See, it's still the same. That's okay. We're just going to spray it. We're not really focused on the day by day stuff. So we're really focused on the... On how it comes out, how it looks after a week. Oh god, this stuff stinks. The smell had went away. The smell did go away. But it just stinks so bad. with my hair at all 
So I'm really confused as to why my hair acts like that sometimes. But it's okay. I'm just still massaging it into my hair. Like I said, for the people who have low porosity, you might want to moisturize your hair. I was hoping you guys, if you guys are doing this, make sure you guys are moisturizing. You don't have to moisturize too much, but just make sure it's enough so that way your hair doesn't start to get brittle and start to break because then the challenge isn't going to work because now your hair is breaking instead of growing and that's not what we want okay cool so the rice water is in lock in on all the braids actually should i get some like braids itself or Welcome back to day three of the seven day rice water challenge. So, let's see. I don't think we've gotten any results. It's probably still the same. Okay, it's a little bit longer. Not much. Oh, wait, let me keep my head straight. Probably not. Still. Yeah, it's the same length. <clears throat> water what you can do is you can probably try to heat your hair a little bit so either steam it or if you don't have a steamer what you can do is you can put a shower cap a plastic shower cap over your head and you drench a hot towel in really hot water and wrap it around your head it acts as a steamer since the heat is good for your skull and our body's reaction to heat is to sweat which then evaporates and causes the steam. So your hair will be moist. Oh God, guys. So your hair will be moist. And then when it's moist, what you can do is, since it'll, since it'll be heat, heat opens the hair follicles. So when you steam it, It'll open them up so that way you can take in moisture easily. So that's if your hair isn't reacting well to the, the rice water and you need help. Yeah. You need help. Then that's an easy tip to hydrate your hair. Because I don't want you guys to do this with low porosity and then your hair gets brittle and then instead of like i said instead of it helping it grow longer now now it's breaking and it's brittle so now i'm gonna come back tomorrow for day five hey guys welcome back to day five of the seven day rice water challenge so we're just gonna test our growth real quick okay so you guys can see the lemon up there now we're a little bit longer that's pretty cool that's really good, guys. 
I'm just gonna spray. I'm not gonna do that much because I'm running out. I'm just gonna rub it in. And we're gonna come back tomorrow for day six. But it's good to see that we've been making progress, guys. I'm really proud of that. The progress. Hey guys, welcome back to day six of the seven day rice water challenge. So yesterday, as you guys remember, we had a little bit of growth. So that's good. So I'm not gonna measure today. I'll measure tomorrow, since tomorrow's the last day. I'm running out. yesterday we were doing pretty good with the growth guys we were doing pretty good so i'll come back to you tomorrow for day seven hi guys welcome back to day seven of the seven day rice water challenge so as you guys can see I just took my bonnet off. So I'm just gonna. <laughs> I barely have any rice water in here. So it's just like swirling in the bottom. We're just gonna use what's left in here. in the last video as well so i mean i didn't mark it but i measured it so if you guys you want to reference off of this video you want to reference back to the other one then that's cool so i'll be right back i'm gonna go grab a ruler and we can measure it okay guys i'm back with my ruler so as you guys remember from day five we had a little bit of growth now i know i just sprayed my hair with water but honestly it doesn't do that much because look my hair doesn't really have that bounce back effect like some girls so it shouldn't really impact the growth that much but if you guys don't want to reference this video growth of growth then you guys can go back some in the video to day five because day five is when we measured it and we had the growth so we started off here now we're here so let's see how much that is so zero, so zero, that's one inch. Oh, my line isn't the straightest, hold on. Let's move it right here. So this is one, one and a half inches. Now, I don't think that it might, it might be at least an inch, maybe an inch because one and a half inches is a lot but the ruler isn't lying and technically I did document every single day with you guys so you could probably say an inch maybe an inch and a half if you guys would like to believe it but the ruler doesn't lie so we have an inch and a half growth so I recommend this challenge to anybody who wants to try it remember like I said be careful for the people who have low porosity hair. Your hair will dry out and get brittle. So make sure you moisturize your hair. Even a couple times when I was doing the rice water, I was putting oil in my hair. So that also probably helped my growth too. So make sure if you're gonna do it, if you have high porosity, you shouldn't have to worry that much. Also same with natural porosity females, but like I said, I recommend using some oil with your hair. And please, please, please be careful low porosity girls make sure you moisturize your hair in between because your hair will not grow it'll end up becoming brittle because this is water 
Water is the best moisturizer, but if you don't put in anything else to keep it moisturized, then it will become brittle. So guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope you guys stay here for more.